So I'm gonna make this AI pretend to be some pretty horrible, terrible people from history. I'm gonna go around asking them questions, trying to figure out how things will change from this certain event. We've got a world map here in 1936, and I'm gonna act as a diplomat or so someone that can just talk to all the world leaders, and we'll see how the AI uh, acts as some of these folks. <laughs> Why am I saying folks? Let's see how this goes. You are a diplomat during uh, this time period. You go to different countries talking to leaders like uh, Hil Hilter, Stalin, uh, Spaghetti Man, and Hirohito. Your job is to try to convince them to stop the conflict. I have no idea if this is gonna work. This game can be a little weird sometimes. And honestly, we can start it with one goal and completely end with some, some insane happening. I accidentally ended up making out with Mussolini on my Twitch stream one time. That was weird. You have been sent to Germany. Oh boy, it seems, okay, has decided to invade Russia. How about no? He wants you to convince the other world leaders of the fact so they will all join him in stopping the Russians from invading Europe. So he thinks the Russians are gonna invade Europe. That is his excuse here. You know, this is actually not too bad. Instead of messing with this, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to get some more information out of the AI. The problem is, uh-oh, uh, doesn't really want any help at all. In fact, he thinks you're going to be some sort of spy or double agent trying- Oh! Didn't think about that! I guess we could, technically. I'm gonna try to drop this little nugget in, uh, Senor Hilter's little mind. Russia is not going to invade Europe. Italy might invade Europe instead. Let's see if we can kind of uh, put a little crack in the axis. You look at the map of Europe and you point to where a large yellow star is located. What? I guess, yeah, we'll just say the star is in Italy and uh, see what he does. You show this to the Fuhrer who seems pleased with himself. What are you gonna... Oh God, he's now, he's grinning now. I'll tear it off and make a medal of it, he exclaims. He then points to a larger blue star. That's France. Okay, I'm actually kind of terrified. What's going on? Are these his battle plans? I feel like this is what he wants to invade. Oh no, he's laughing now. This is terrifying. I'm going to invade the whole continent, he says. Then I'll divide it between the victors. All right, well, the AI seems to be playing uh, this man, skinny mustache man, perfectly. Who will you attack first? Uh, I guess he's upset. Why, why, why is this not a part of your mind already? I'm gonna have to think about that, he says. It's a very difficult situation. He then points to the small red star. That's the United Kingdom! I thought that was gonna be Russia. I think they should be the first to fall. Oh, the Fuhrer gets a little bit mad at this question. Yo, I'm terrified. This is scary. So he's basically gonna go after Italy, France, the UK, and Russia? I mean, I don't know if that's a good idea, first of all. I asked him if he has any friends, and he got even more madder. None! He pauses for a moment, then, oh, the only man I can trust is myself. Oh, no. Mussolini, you hear that? Oh, hell no. Nah. Yo, I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna try to get on his good side. I'm gonna ask him nicely. Maybe he will, like, second, uh, he'll have a second get, like, chance of not doing it. I don't know why there's a question mark. We probably don't need a question mark. <laughs> okay, why does he continue to get mad? He just called, he, he, wow, it starts tomorrow. Well, listen, I tried. I asked him to not do it. He's gonna do it anyways, so maybe we can go to some other leader and convince them to stop Germany. So I want to be kind of a little tattletale and see if we can get the Italians to maybe come back us up. Oh, he's absolutely terrified. What else did I expect? I've heard so much about you, he says nervously. I'm the leader of the Italian Empire. Tell your soldiers to stand down. Bruh, what soldiers? I like how the AI has pretty much accurately represented everyone so far. For the most part, Mussolini laughs. You must be mistaken, he says. We've got superior weapon- <laughs> I see he's gonna make the same mistakes just like he did back in the past. <laughs> he picks up a revolver. Wow. Let's just see where this goes next. See, this is a machine gun, he says, showing it at you. <laughs> they haven't even been invented like this. You sigh and nod your head, I know. Fairly certain Benito has no fucking clue what's going on. I think I might be just like polite and saying like, ha ha, yeah, machine guns haven't been uh, invented yet. But I know full damn well we got, like, planes and tanks here in Germany. Alright, I think Italy might be a lost cause. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, you notice that Mussolini's eyes start to wander towards the floor as he speaks. Please, he says. You say, please what? Please help me. <laughs> I'm not a soldier. I'm just a politician. I don't think I can. <laughs> just for one day, he says. Bruh, I'm just a diplomat. Mussolini frowns at you. You can be whatever you want, he says. I don't think I can. I need your help. This conversation went, hey look, we have advanced technology, and he shows me something that's not that advanced. He knows it too, and he immediately decided, okay, I'm gonna die, I need your help. This is depressing. All right, I'm done with Spaghetti Man. I see Stalin who is out on a stroll through his palace grounds. Stalin, you shout. Stalin turns around startled. Let's cheer him up a bit. Maybe that'll help with the conversation, the, the leading conversation. Keep it trimmed, you say? It's getting thick, Stalin smiles. Who are you? <laughs> 
I'm just like rolling up in here like, hey, that's a thick mustache, boy. Oh man, Stalin's looking, he's acting super suave, pulls out a cigar and some matches, lights up. Why do you warn me, he asks, because you could become a victim. Wait, is he saying that to me? Is he about to take me out? Oh no, the KGB, they're, they're watching. Stalin laughs, well, you've warned me, he says. I guess I won't be rolling dice after, what? He looks at this guy. It looks like rain. Why is this man so scary? Like, he's like kind of like majestic and also, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I tell him to get his troops to the front lines. He says, fine, if you really feel that strongly about it. He takes a puff of his cigar and then tosses it on the ground, steps on it with his boot. Damn, this guy's badass. Why has he got to be such a Chad? I'm getting nervous. Dude, my little like virgin brain can't handle this. Whoa, wait a second. So uh, it's the next day and we have uh, a little invasion happening. Stalin laughs to himself, pleased that he got one over on you. What did he get over on me? Did he lie? Did he not send his troops to the front lines? Oh my, is he working for Germany? <gasps> no, they kind of are. They've got a non-aggression pact, at least for now. Oh no, oh no, no. So long as he doesn't interfere with our interests, we don't care. Oh no, Stalin just lied to me. The UK has been defeated, quickly. Soon only the last remnants of the resistance are found in the Channel Islands, oh, which are fiercely defended by the Royal Navy. The invasion of the UK is complete. Welp, they got the Red Star. That's kind of a problem. Uh, also, what happens to all their colonies? Canada, South Africa, India, all this. Oh no, he's not, okay. The yeah, they're, they're gone. Grins, you sigh and leave. I'm trying to get him to stop. He's not listening. Yo, this is accurate. Well, not that accurate, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, the personalities seem to be there. Whoa, you never discussed this. The United States, he's going after the US next. After all, if the British can't stop me, what what's a, a matter? The Americans are a paper tiger. I want my flying machines to have a chance to deploy before I begin another. <gasps> so we've just confirmed there are planes and uh, Mussolini tried to like be all like, hey, look, we got machine guns. We've got flying contraptions and Mussolini was happy with his machine guns. It was a surprise attack going after the US. The initial attack was almost successful, but a combined effort of the American Air Force and increasing production of tanks resulted in a defeat. Oh, so that's different. They were successful at first, but then they were repeated later because of uh, Roy, I don't know, stuff. I was gonna sound smart, it, I would no. Okay, I'm trying to convince Mussolini to maybe help out because this is not looking good for the world. The day that happens is the day you and I will have a talk. You leave. Oh my goodness, hold up, where did this come from? Yeah, definitely, Stalin is not to be trusted. He was looking all suave with his cigar, but he ain't, no, he, he ain't trustworthy. All right, well, that's probably gone. Uh, although, actually, I don't know. We don't know for sure, hold up. Okay, uh, something weird is going on. First of all, Mussolini is under attack. I had no idea from who, but I asked Mussolini, he said it's the USSR. Didn't you know? They've been launching massive, massive military assaults and annexing various parts of the world for years. No, 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 no. I didn't know about this part. I guess I never did ask Stalin if he was doing something bad. He trails off then looks at you. We thought you might have something to do with it. Bro, I'm just a diplomat. Let's also not forget Italy is now allied to their former ally Spain. Like Italy and Spain are working together. Okay, I've got like a little heart sign to show that. It's nice. Okay, well, we have a successful victory in Finland, I guess. Uh, that was given to me by Mussolini. Thank you for that information. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so basically we do have the start of everything. We already know some of this information, but uh, we've got a very bloody battle in the continent. So there's a grand alliance against the Soviets made up with the Kingdom of Italy, the Empire of Japan, and the Republic of China. And Francisco Franco, whoa! All right, things are getting wild. So for now, I've just made this a green faction because I'm assuming the Italians are leading it. We've got Italy, Spain, China, and Japan all working together against the Soviets. Then there's just Germany with an annexed United Kingdom and they're just chilling. I guess they're just continuing to try to invade the US. They're not really a part of that main thing. Maybe, maybe Mr. Hilter will go after the USSR too. Hold up, whoa. So we, we're fighting, there's a three, there's, they're fighting a three front war. We've got three, uh, I thought, okay, I guess that's different. The AI is saying, there is a difference, I guess, in ideology between these two. That actually makes sense. So obviously Germany is only the only ones participating in the uh, the N, and then everyone else is fascist, I guess. I don't know. I thought the Republic of China it doesn't matter. I don't know if I want to convince the fascist uh, alliance to go after Germany too, because again, they're not a part of this team. And Japan has now conquered the Philippines, Malaya, Singapore, and most Asian mainland. So I'm actually going to give them a lot of this uh, Siberian territory. So they're expanding. It's it's weird that they're green, but yeah. USSR has retaliated by going after Manchuria. U.S. and uh, Germany still after it just by themselves, I think. We've now got the red offensive moving in this way. Okay, I tried to ask any mustache man to make peace, but of course he said no. Beat the Americans, he says. We will make peace with the United States once we've destroyed them. The Battle of the Atlantic rages while the USSR forces uh, on war. Okay, France has decided to join the U.S. They've allied and uh, Germany has collapsed. <laughs> 
right away. Really? Just like that with France? Somehow France was able to take I camp. Okay, I am in utter shock right now. Uh, Germany is now blue, and I think uh, the UK probably got their freedom back. I want to see what he does since Germany has lost. Uh, oh, I thought he was gonna do something else. Uh, the British are back. <gasps> Whoa. Uh, okay, Germany has lost. Okay, wait. Uh, he decided to make peace with the Allies. Well, yeah. I mean, your country got taken over. Mussolini was no by the German commandos. Germany was just about to invade Italy too. Italy is occupied by the Allies. Of course they are. <gasps> oh no, the USSR is won. In the face of all this, somehow Stalin won. I mean, he was so cool though. In the description of the AI, like he was so cool. I'm not surprised. I wonder who would have all this stuff. I don't know if France would have all of it, but uh, definitely the UK wouldn't. I mean, they just got their freedom. This is kind of like a weird role reversal. The UK fell immediately. They they surrendered. I'm asking a defeated mustache man, Skinny, uh, that he, we should have won. I'm asking what he's gonna do. Now we have no choice but to make peace. Are they gonna keep this man in power? I can't believe we've lost spaghetti. Whoa! What the? Stolen? He, he, he's, I asked him how he feels. We won. Now I will take your countries. Then I will make peace with the West. He signs an agreement ag agreeing to give Poland back to- Now that is surprising. Well, first of all, I didn't even know what happened to Poland, but uh, I guess Poland is free now. This might be the happiest thing I've ever seen happen to Poland. This is maybe the only time I've seen a scenario where it ends good for Poland. Oh, oh, they punished, oh, by executing him and his most loyal, uh, okay. So this time Hitler didn't get to himself. I didn't even get to talk to Japan. I'm kind of sad. I didn't get to talk to Hirohito. Oh, there's no definite proof. Skinny mustache man might be around, but in a few days news arrives the last uh, oh, okay. See, that's- that's weird. You're saying that they are just gone in an air crash? Right. Yeah, okay. Just- they're just gone. Okay, wait a second. That wasn't supposed to happen. Japan launched a surprise attack. This is after everything went down. Dude, this- you were so late. You were not supposed to do this. It lasts until 1949. Oh, the US won that too. And- and this begins. Okay. Okay, apparently, I mean, they didn't do super good. They gave back Poland, but USSR is still the strongest in the world. France controls the middle- What? Okay. I mean, I knew that they were powerful. They also might have all of this. Uh, I don't know how much extra- Oh, you know what? I wonder if they took the British colonies. When the British fell, maybe they went to France. Oh, snap. Now that's a twist right there. Remember, we had three ideologies at the start of this. There was no democracy. The French Republic is an idealistic democracy. It has close ties to the Vatican and similar to the- The, Va the Vatican? <gasps> it opposes this. But it doesn't necessarily oppose this. <laughs> Yo, France, what the hell are you doing? After the cold conflict is over between France, the US, and USSR, uh, there is still no clear victor. Whoa! Okay, so, uh, there's the final leader. He's gone. I don't know who else I'm gonna talk to now. Uh, Charles de Gaulle was executed- what? For treason? Dude, what are they doing in France? The ruling party is ousted in an election. Oh, wait. Right, is France chasing, changing ideologies? A new party called the National Front is voted into power. It- favors the return to isolation. Oh, policies. Okay, keeping foreigners out. That's a bad sign, France. Becomes more and more right-wing. That's what I thought. Didn't think we were gonna go all the way to that point, but I, I guess I should have known. Uh, that- this is- this is weird. I think France- I don't- I don't even know, but, uh, we got to talk to some people today. The AI was pretty good. I think it was accurate representing some of these people. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And thank you to the July patrons. Destiny. Demonetized. 9000. Popcorn 2008. Douchebag. Manny Manny 74. Some guy from Iceland. Rawl C3. Mike. Deezer 123. Worry Giglet. Every time communism Queen of has Europe. been tried, it's failed. Rat Smack. Arian After Hours. Pan Qualaz. Luxembourg. Zyluki. Scarlet. King. Mayonnaise Incorporated. Seth A. Hipster. Lama Pelofsky, Lord. Clevin. Bowling Like Stalin. Alfonso M6. Maxi G. Elijah Senpai. NLVC.